Hello. Hey everyone, I'm Scott and I'll be your vocal coach for today. What can I do when you tell me I deserve someone better than you? You ain't know how to break a heart in two. Never had a plan too far for you. I don't understand, don't have a clue. One look in your eyes, now I'm a fool. I know it's just another day in the world, but I'm stuck hiding in the shade of your words. You protected me from all the pain, but I learned that I was just a Okay, let's unpack five things that Angelina is doing vocally. Number one, her vocal fry. She's leaning into this gritty and gravelly sound, and this is allowing her to emote. What can I do when you tell me I deserve someone? Number two, her vocal bounces. I... Number three, her vocal scoots. You can hear them moving in two different directions, under and up and over and down. Better than you. You ain't know how to break a heart in two. Number four, her two contrasting elements. Firstly, there's a really nice balance of her bright and dark sounds, and this is shaped by her vowels. Her white vowels in four, have, and I brighten up her sound, whereas her rounded vowels in you, clue, and full warms them up. Never had a plan too far for you. I don't understand. And secondly, there's a really nice contrast between her straight tones and her hammer vibrato. She's essentially playing around with the idea of musical tension and release. I know it's just another day in the world, but I'm still hiding in the shade of your words. You protected me from all the pain, but I learned that I was just And finally, number five, her breathy offset, how she ends her notes. She's releasing a lot of breath, and we can hear it here. And I just call it let you know.
missing six things here, so let's talk about them. Number one, her twang. She's leaning into this bright quality and it makes her sound quite piercing in a really, really good way. We had it all, had it all. I'm counting all the broken pieces that I lost. Number two, her high note. Let's dissect this. I see you, I feel you in everything that I do. So how does it start? Yep, with a vocal fry. And what voice quality is she in? It's her belting quality. It's essentially a controlled but loud shouty sound. And what vowel is she using? The uh vowel. What vocal move did you hear her using? Yeah, that's right. That triple vocal bounce up. <sighs> Number three, her staccato notes on the word fool. Look in your eyes now. Finally, number four, I want you to tune into her transitions. And this is showcasing her mastery and her control over her instrument. Firstly, her transition in sound. As she descends down that vocal run, we can hear her sound moving from a nasal-like quality into an oral-like quality. So from a dull, muffled kind of sound into a more clear and a more resonant sound. And I just gotta let you know Secondly, her transition in dynamics. She's following a musical pattern. Thick, thin, thick, thin. Her sound starts off thick. Then she pulls back her sound to a more thinner place. I love it because it's creating a really nice push and pull kind of effect. Yeah, I just got to let you know it ain't my Breathiness. I love hearing her inhales. It was very intentional and it adds to emotional expression. And finally, number six, her vowel migration. As her voice moves down three pitch destinations, her vowels become more round, which warms up her sound. This also sweetens up her tone, and it's one of the many ways that singers end their songs. I love Angelina's new song. She's really found her sound and her vocal signature. I love hearing and seeing elements of Amy Winehouse here, from the way she moves her voice, but also her really cool hairstyle. It's such a vibe. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for being here and for learning with me. If there are any other artists that you would like me to react to, please put it down in the comments below. I really appreciate all of you for showing up every week. Head on over and watch other amazing singers on the channel as well, and I'll catch you there. Bye.